Hey there, this is Jared Polin, froknowsphoto.com, and this is Figment. He's a part of my imagination. He's a purple dinosaur from before Barney. Remember that. And this is the Lightroom 3 preview before I download it, actually. There it is. Puff the Magic Dragon. So, anyway, this isn't Puff the Magic Dragon. It's actually Figment. How many of you people have ever been to Disney World and you got to see Figment? I can't even remember the old man that was there, but, you know, Figment was this purple dinosaur um, before uh, Barney. Figment. We love Figment. My brother and I, we, we each have our own Figments. So there's Figment. But why am I here today? Well, that's because Adobe decided to release Lightroom 3, which what I think is a little early, but that's awesome for everybody out there. Um, so this is more of a preview. I'm going to have a hands-on when I download it because I am buying it today. The upgrade, it's $99 for the upgrade and it's $299 to start fresh and new with Lightroom version 3, which, you know, is the one of the best softwares out there, if not the best software for editing your raw images. And now there are new features. So let's look at some of the new features. Now for some of you, noise reduction seems to be a major issue. Uh, they've added a whole new noise reduction panel to make your noise reduction better in Lightroom 3. I don't really use uh, noise reduction. I don't seem to run in it, run into too much noise, but that's, I guess, I'm using the D3S. But I'll even say, even with the D2H, which was a 4 megapixel camera, I didn't run into that, that much noise. I call it grain. I run into grain. When you, when you convert it to black and white, it looks like grain. So... Let's see, what else? Let's read down the list. Accelerated performance. Get your digital photography test done faster and have more time to shoot and promote your work. Already quick performance has been dramatically accelerated in Lightroom 3, saving you time from the first look to final image. That's a good thing. We want faster. And now it supports your digital SLR video files right in line with your photos. That's great because I've always had to separate, separate the files and... You know, you then you have to put them somewhere else and you have to preview them somewhere and now it's in there, right there in with you. Image watermarking. I use a separate program for watermarking, so we'll have to see if this really works or not because um, I'm really happy with the way I watermark, watermark my images with my logo now uh, and I will do a walkthrough of how that works for that other program, which I'm very happy with. Easy new importing. Talks about uh, being able to find... Uh, and locate your images easier and import them easier, which is good for beginners uh, and you guys out there to see how to import those images is, 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 is easier. Easier. Anyway, um, what else do we have here? We have perspective correction. I am not a big fan of perspective correction. I like to do, like I say, as much in the camera as possible. For example, when you shoot a a 16 millimeter fisheye and you want to change the perspective it is going to crop your image to make the line straighter you are losing your edge you're losing part of your uh image when you do that but if you want to use image correction that's up to you more power to you because it's you you do whatever you want um lens correction seems to be interesting uh quickly and easily perfect your images by automatically reducing lens defects like geometric distortion chromatic aberration aberration as i like to call it chromatic ab aggravation just to make it easier and vignetting with single click profiles yeah profiles i don't i don't get into too many presets like i say i like to tweak as much as possible uh on my own but one thing i do like is flicker integration i use flicker as you know you can sign up for the fro nose photo flicker photo group where I'll pick a photo each week to talk about, and maybe I'll start giving away some prizes for that photo that I select there. I also critique people's work there um, to help you, you know, to give you feedback from time to time. So I will definitely do that, uh, or I am doing that. So that's pretty cool to do Flickr upgrading, easy to share slideshow videos and music. I don't know what this is. I haven't looked at it yet. 
Show your images to clients, friends, and family with more style and flair using elegant slideshows with music. Slideshows are a breeze to create, and you can share them easily by exporting them as videos even in high def. Well, that's pretty cool. To be uh, That's cool. Um... If I don't have to, you know, if I can create an awesome slideshow in high definition, better than what I can do in uh, iMovie, that would be cool. If I can do voiceovers, that will be even cooler. Don't know if I can. I'll have to test it out. We'll see what I have. Tethered shooting. I can already, already shoot tethered using um, a Nikon software, but it would be interesting to see if you can tether every camera. It would be cool to tether the D3000, which is right here, being that this doesn't tether with the Nikon software. I don't understand that. Don't ask me why. And last, film grain simulation. I'll call this shenanigans on this one. Uh, BS on film grain simulation. Why do you want to add more grain? I understand there's artistic appeal and things like that. But hey, how do we sniff test something digitally that's from the internet? Well, we're going to do it right now. All right, I got it. It smells like megabits. That's right, megabits. Fast moving files across the internet. Sniff test. So there you have it. I've included links uh, below or somewhere on my page for Lightroom 3 upgrade and uh, just click on that if you're looking to upgrade it or pick it up. At least download the trial. I believe they still give you 30 days to use it and see what you think. I'll be having more hands-on tutorials, video walkthroughs, and everything for those files coming up when I actually download it myself. So there you go. Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com. We'll catch you later. See ya!